Hello, everyone. Welcome to Rattle and Numb Live, Volume 3. I'm John Burroughs, uh, Ohio's Beat Poet Laureate, and I am going to read a poem from my latest book, Rattle and Numb, selected in new poems 2000, or 1992 to 2019. Today's poem is the third one in the book, and it's entitled Karma Sutra. Tin Can Karma in a Cemetery Green Sedan drives into the past, through the future, running round and round and over and over the illusory track of time, like a bomb that never goes off, like a song that rings in Campbell's soup cans, round and round the rims, not going out or in, just sticking to the circuit like a one-ring soup can gerbil wheel circus till the tin finally erodes. The illusion of time caves in and full circle cemetery green karma darts to the next can in the aisle of now. So that was uh, Karma Sutra. Um, a few things about this poem. I mean, obviously, it, it showed love for puns, you know, from this the pun on Kama Sutra, the ancient Indian uh, love manual. Um, but also, uh, you know, the Isle of Now, uh, which harkens back to a Pretender's live album, which was entitled Isle of View except she used I-S-L-E, and I'm using A-I-S-L-E. Um, I love now. Um, but also the Campbell Soup Cans, obviously uh, alluding to Andy Warhol, who I was just becoming a fan of back when I wrote this poem. Now I'm a big fan, but uh, I wrote this poem in 2009, June of 2009. Um, and it was originally published in a self-published chapbook entitled Six Nine Improvisations in Dependence. So when I first started Crisis Chronicles, started by, uh, hmm, I'm getting a message from YouTube that my connection is unstable. But uh, so the first year or so of the press, I published self-published a couple small chapbooks of my work, uh, maybe 12 pages each, just to hand out at readings. Um, and 6-9 was the second one of those. So named, I mean, obviously you got the sexual allusion to the title, but it was named 6-9 because uh, the poems in it were all written in June of 2009. And um, well, except for two of them, which were earlier poems, but that had been published online somewhere in June of 2009 and seemed to fit with the rest of the poems. So I wrote this poem in 2009. That chapbook is obviously, uh, or maybe not obviously, but it's far out of print. You know, I, I no longer keep those in print, but um, I collected a handful of favorite poems from each of my earlier chapbooks to create this book. You know, which is my best work for maybe 30 years and added in a bunch of new and previously unpublished things to flush it out. So when I was ordering this, I mean, putting the poems in order, um, I started out doing it chronologically by chapbook. So I took a few poems from my 2008 chapbook, Lavro, a few poems, the 2009 chapbook, 6-9. The, you know, the poem from my 2009 uh, collaborative chapbook through Green Panda Press, Green Panda Press Identity Crisis. And I, I did that. So the poems were originally laid out in order of which chronological order of which chapbook they had come from. But the poems within each chapbook were not in chronological order. You know, um, for example, in my 2011 chapbook, uh, Electric Company, I have poems from as far back as 1992 and uh, to, you know, 2010. 
So they were in order by chapbook, but not in necessarily in chronological order by when they were written. And then once they were laid out that way um, to create this book, I moved poems from here to there within that somewhat chronological framework so that, you know, when you read through the book, uh, it tells an arc, it feels like it was written to go together. And so the chronology is not uh, precise by any means, but it is basically a sort of, it tell, it's the story of me and my poetic evolution and personal evolution and et cetera. Um, so what else can I say about 6-9 or Karma Sutra? Um, it was actually first published online in... Um, Namasani, which was a literary blog edited by Jen Pezzo and Chris Brooks, and it's probably still online there somewhere. I may have tweaked it, revised it since then, you know, because I'm constantly revising poems. Um, but even the ones that have been published, in, you know, 20 years ago, I'm still rewriting. But hey, this is the, the current version from Rattle and Numb which I will read one more time and then I'll let you go. Uh, I feel like I'm pretty wound up probably because I've had all this coffee and haven't had dinner yet, but uh, dinner's coming soon. Chicken and vegetable soup. Karma soup tra. Tin can karma in a sorry green sedan drives into the past through the future, running round and round and over and over the illusory track of time, like a bomb that never goes off, like a song that rings in Campbell soup cans, round and round the rims, not going out or in, just sticking to the circuit, like a one ring and gerbil wheel circus, till the tin finally erodes the illusion of time caves in and full circle cemetery green karma darts to the next can in the aisle of now if you'd like to order the book it's available at the venetian spider press website or bookshop.org or probably from your favorite um, independent bookstore. They can order it for you. So support your local bookstores and support your fellow authors and poets and artists. And thank you so much for listening, for being my friends and uh, look forward to seeing you or not seeing you uh, the next time. But you'll see me, I guess, and I'll see you on Facebook, Twitter, and et cetera. Have a good day and take care.